in any profession, quality education and training will always spell the difference between a highly effective workforce and incompetent employees. In the maritime profession, where mistakes can quickly escalate into catastrophes, resulting in loss of life and millions of dollars worth of damages to property and the environment, a solid foundation in learning is of the utmost importance. In recent years, maritime education and training has evolved to a point where it has caught up with modern technology. What used to be a standard classroom scenario using a traditional blackboard and chalk has now transformed into a sophisticated process utilizing a combination of practical use of actual equipment, full mission simulators, and most recently, augmented reality and virtual reality systems. But this raises the question, are these new teaching tools really effective in producing competent seafarers? Here in the Philippines, a local company called Seaversity has emerged and is specializing in the development of software-based modern solutions for maritime education and training. Their products include simulators, AR and VR programs, and also online learning systems. They have partnered with the top institutions in the Philippines, like the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy, to revolutionize the way teaching is conducted in maritime schools. Seaversity recently approached me and asked if I could test and review a few of their products, namely their augmented reality app and their virtual reality programs. Now, as some of you may know by now, besides being a chief engineer, I also have extensive teaching experience, which I gained from years as an instructor in the training centers, as well as from the time I spent as a professor in the academy. In addition to my subject matter expertise in marine engineering, I am also well versed in developing scenarios using simulators. Which is why Seaversity wanted me to try out their programs and get my feedback, as they intend to further intensify their campaign to modernize the way maritime education is conducted all throughout the country. Let's take a look at their augmented reality app first. The AR app is designed to work using a tablet or a smartphone to scan QR codes for each designated piece of machinery. As soon as the QR code is seen by the camera, a 3D image of the machinery will appear on screen. The image can be rotated so users can see it from almost all angles. There's also an option to display labels of the most important parts and some of them have an exploded view in order for the user to see the internal parts. These are the items which are available so far, but the app is still in continuous development, so more items will be added in future updates. I could personally say that this app is very handy, especially for students as it shows them what the machinery looks like. The important parts are labeled, and there's a brief description of its function. They can also zoom in rotate, and for some of the items, there's an exploded view. So as far as familiarization goes, this one is excellent. Back when I was still studying, the only reference we could get is from photos in a few books, and there aren't really a lot of books on marine engineering, so the options were very limited. It's quite difficult to understand what your professor is talking about if you couldn't even imagine what it looks like. I actually only managed to understand further when we started going on shipboard visits and even further once I started my cadetship year on board. Of course by itself, the app won't do the students much benefit, but learning can be maximized if the professor uses this tool to explain how each of the items work. In effect, this is just a visual aid. The real teaching will still come from the professor. This app will just make teaching more effective as it will definitely help the students to quickly understand what's being discussed because instead of imagining what it looks like, the students can now see what it actually looks like and from different angles. As soon as the program started, it looks as if I've been dropped into a video game. 
The graphics of course look very much like older video games but still quite immersive since the goggles limit your vision to what you see in the virtual world. This is the program for the purifier dismantling. It comes with step-by-step -step instructions. Now this is for the freshwater generator. It's more of a familiarization only but the good thing is there's some sort of x-ray function so you can actually see what it looks like inside. We don't normally open this up on board unless there's a serious problem, so getting a glimpse of the internal parts is quite good, especially for students. But this would be better if it included a startup and stopping procedure. About a year ago, I made a video which showed me teaching at a training center using an engine room simulator where there's a physical setup of the engine control room along with actual sounds which helps to simulate a real engine room and get the trainees immersed in the scenario. Now here comes virtual reality where there is no need for expensive physical equipment for simulations. Everything is in the virtual world, like the Matrix. As I showed you earlier, I tried out the Purifier Dismantling Program. It's a procedure-based simulation, and as a gamer myself, I could honestly say that it was quite immersive. It's just like playing a video game where you are given an objective and you have to accomplish it within the given parameters. As for the freshwater generator program, although it was more of a visual aid, it was great because you can actually see what the internal parts look like. Like I said, it would be better if it included startup and shutdown objectives, as simulations like this is best if utilized for procedural or objectives-based learning. I mean, you're already in a game-like environment which is designed for the user to interact with virtual objects. They actually have that feature already in some of their programs, so if it could be added in all of their simulations, as if you're running a mission in a game, it would definitely be a very effective teaching tool, especially for the younger generation who practically grew up playing video games. It's going to make learning an enjoyable experience. Now some people might say, back in the day we didn't have those but we still learned everything we needed. Well, that might be true, but being part of a generation myself which didn't have access to these things, I could honestly say that I could have learned a lot faster and a lot more back then if we had these tools at our disposal. It's practically knowledge that is readily available and 
easily accessible compared to back then when you barely even know where to start if you want to learn something. Which brings us back to our initial question. Are these new teaching tools really effective in producing competent seafarers? Well, we have to remember these high-tech teaching tools, no matter how sophisticated, are still just tools. And their effectiveness will always depend on the person using it. It's like having a very powerful and accurate gun. But if the one using it is not very skilled at shooting, then it doesn't really matter, does it? What I'm trying to say is, it will still depend on the educators themselves who will utilize these tools in the course of their instruction. It will allow them to explain better since there is an interactive visual aid. And when it comes to teaching about procedures, it will be easier because demonstration can already be done in the classroom and the students can also do the procedures themselves, which is way better than just watching a how-to video. So the transfer of knowledge will definitely be faster. These new teaching tools will save the students and the instructors a lot of time. Time which can be utilized for more productive things. Now, imagine this. If the educators are already doing a good job in teaching the future seafarers using only traditional methods, having access to these modern teaching tools will definitely open up a world of possibilities.